what up y'all happy vlogmas day four um i wanted to join in on vlogmas this year i wanted to have some fun i tried it years ago and everything like that but it wasn't how i wanted it to starting off with day four i wanted to actually do it this 2024 of vlogmas so i wanted to join in and have some fun so today what we doing we headed downtown chicago to my job but i'll let y'all see how it is when i go to the office and everything and of course y'all get to see the downtown scenery and see how they done sparked it up and everything like that so with that being said let's just roll downtown man get up in this parking lot and we there So real quick background about where we at right now, like literally the corner of where we at, we are on Ida B. Wells and uh, Michigan Ave. So when I was a shorty, my pops used to come through this way. Where we, where we from, we was living on the south side. We was living on 66th and Whipple on, on the south side. So to get to the school that I was going to, I was going to school on the west side of Chicago. I was going to Victor Herbert Elementary School. And that's right across the street from the Bulls United Center, which I hold glorious to me as a Chicagoan. Um, but in order for us to get from the south side to the west side, uh, what my pops would do was he'd take Lakeshore Drive down and then he'd cut through Ida B. Wells and uh, and Michigan Ave. And at that specific corner is where like uh, where this big, huge uh, Chicago library was. But at the same time, like you could really see the full downtown scenery area. Like you could see. Uh, Millennium Park and everything like that. And that's when you see the big buildings. So like every time we was coming through downtown, I just knew as a kid, like, yo, I'm coming, I'm gonna be working downtown someday. I don't care what it is, I'm gonna work downtown someday. So like how it is, my lifestyle is how I envisioned it to go, which I'm happy about. I couldn't be more happy about. Um, and being an adult, Sean, this, this is what growth is, man. Go after your goals and make things happen for yourself, man. You can really make it happen, just push for it. And make that shit happen, fam. One thing I do wish I had access to is like, uh, we do get access to a garage, but it's two garages. The building that I'm in right now is not our, is not our actual building. Next door, next to our building, next to it, next to this building is actually like our garage. But the only problem is when you are, if you're trying to park after any time after like six or seven, the parking garage that's connected to our building, it's already flooded. Everybody has already claimed their parking spot and everything like that. And I don't have to get on the clock until eight o'clock, 8 a.m. I'm not getting up that early, bro. I'm not getting up that early to try to get me a parking spot. I just go next door and get in that building. We got access to both of them anyway, so it's no problem with that for me anyway. What's going on? There's no problem for me, so I still get in. I still got access to both buildings, so there you go. Hey, just a quick note, man. For all y'all trying to look cute in the wintertime, bro, look, when you in Chicago, there's a difference. When you come to the heart of Chicago, like, if you make it in, like, between where the buildings are, it's wind. You got the air from the... You got air from the lake, so which make it even bone chilling cold. So when the wind blow, it's over with. So if you ever come to Chicago and think you're finna sit here and look cute, trying to wear these tiny coats and everything, not have a scarf or a big hat or anything, cause you're trying to be too cute or anything, go ahead and turn it to a human popsicle if you want to. You're gonna look like a whole goofy coming to the city. And if you are from the city and you're still trying to dress all cute, come on, man, don't be no goofy, man. Get your lives together, bro. All right, y'all. Y'all see, we walk right out, walk right out that little corner spot, and now we're going right here to this building. Simple as that, it's real easy. It's in and out, but I ain't finna be too cold like that. But we're about to get up here. You know you high as hell on the floor, like high in, a, high in the air, when your elevators make your ears pop, bro, you're going way up in that, you moving at a fast rate, and you're going high as up. You pop my ear, be tweaking me out. Inside. Yes, sir. Push. Yes, sir. Y'all see that? Best company. I know. We got some cookie decorating over here. <laughs> Thank you. 
We got hot chocolate stations. Mike just wants something over here. What is this? I don't know. Pastries. <laughs> Right now, I just took a quick break. Everybody need that. And the good part about working at this office and working for this company is like, whenever you need a break, just take a break. As long as you're getting your shit done and you can do basically what you want. Like if you need to get up, you need to go somewhere, you need to take a break, mental break, health break, do what you gotta do. As long as you get your job done, you're straight. So I'm gonna take a break real quick, walk around the building real quick. Okay, so come to find out, in our building, in a basement level, we got a new fitness center. So instead of me having to work out super early in the morning and then try to come to work, what I can do is wake up in the AM, get to the gig. This is tweaking me out because all I have to do is, if I wanna go, if I wanna work out, all I have to do is wake up, get to the office, and on my break, what I can do is possibly work out for an hour real quick. And then after like on my break, work out for about an hour. After work is over, finished up my last hour maybe or something like that, because they got everything that's needed on the inside for me to get my job done and everything like that, for me to get my tasks done that I need. So that's pretty fun. In the meantime, what we finna do is head to this spot real quick, about to head inside the office real quick and finish out the day. I got a couple more tasks that I need to do, so. Finish out, I got three big tasks that needs to be done. Um, took my break that I needed, now my brain is put back together, now I can get back to it. So I feel like that's what everybody need, like I said, but sometimes some people just wanna go straight through. But if you feel like you need to, I do myself, I say you need to. So get out and try to make, refresh your brain a little bit and get you set for the day. So maybe something that you should think about when it comes to putting in work. All right, bro, end of the day, end of the day. We headed to the crib now, end of the day. And I get to leave a little early because I finished out everything that I have to do. Sometimes if you gotta stay a little bit late, that's what happens when you work in corporate industry. Um, and it's up to you to finish those tasks. Sometimes I stay a little late or sometimes I close up, go to the crib, finish up at home, stuff like that. But right now, finished up everything. So now I can leave a little bit earlier, beat this traffic instead of being caught up in traffic all damn day. So. We're about to get to this car room. We're about to get to this Jeep real quick. So I'll catch up with y'all in just a second. You know what's crazy? Cause Chicago builds a lot. So if you you miss in out of work or if you stay home, work from home for like two, three weeks, by the next couple weeks you come back downtown, you're gonna have another building that's already in process. Like right now, this building that's down the street has not there has not been a building down here from our building for like years. Years, years since I was a shorty. There's never been a building. It's always been an empty spot, like kind of like a museum setup, Bruh, they building a whole new building down the street. It's kind of crazy to see like how much they're building downtown Chicago. It's crazy, but it's always new looks, new things that's coming. I think it's pretty dope, but still like, damn. Let me go ahead and get up in this parking lot real quick. Get out this cold. It's only two seconds that I'm up in here for the, in the cold, but still cold as hell. Chicago cold is a different type of cold, bro. Like, when they say it's like 20 degrees outside, nah, 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 nah. 20 degrees be feeling like five degrees. And five degrees feel like negative 10. Bro, I love coming downtown Chicago. Crazy part is, you know, like I said, like, I had this dream to work down here when I was just a shorty and now doing it is just, Man blown. That's all in the day's job. I mean, as a marketer, I can't show you everything. I couldn't show you like computer screens, sitting in on meetings and thinking about uh, different tasks and coming up with different ideas, strategies and things like that. Couldn't put y'all in on that. But I mean, like that's pretty much the gist of me going on the inside, taking a lunch break, getting a snack or whatsoever it did, coming up, finishing up my work. And then what's crazy about this is I'm two, min I'm two minutes, not even two. I'm literally 60 seconds down the street from magnificent malice nothing for me to just walk if i'm like man i need to get me a fit all right we got our christmas event that's coming up let me get me a fit walk down the street turn around go ahead down the street and go ahead get me a uh go ahead get me a quick fit you feel what i'm saying 
Chicago a vibe, bro. Shot Town is a vibe, bro. It just cold as fuck. Our, our winters, our winters are brutal as shit. They put up our Christmas tree out here in Chicago. Our tree is usually big as hell. Yeah, it's tweaking me out that they had this Christmas tree big as hell. Like, what's going on? I don't know why this Christmas tree not big as hell. Cause usually I'm talking about like our, our Christmas tree in Millennial Park is big as hell. So I don't know why that that kind of look uh, a little dinky like this year. Like y'all fell back on this one. Like I want to take I-57 back to the crib. That's the expressway. Take I-57, take that all the way back to the crib. But at this time, nah, man, nah. It's gonna be chaos trying to get to the crib. Nah, you know the the like you got to know the right time. I like 3:30, 5 o'clock. That rush hour cracking. Like you ain't you ain't gonna be able to move really. So I'ma just take the back way, go down Lakeshore Drive and take that all the way back to the crib real quick. I ain't got no problem taking the roads real quick instead of going the expressway. I'm cool with that. But thank y'all for joining me on Vlogmas Day 4. I'll catch up with y'all tomorrow. Like I said, I'm gonna try to crank these out. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. Make sure y'all hit that like button. Drop that comment down below if y'all want me to do more. Let me know if y'all want me to do more. If y'all want to keep if you want me to if y'all want me to keep doing vlogmas, man, just let me know. But I'm gonna try to keep up the content as much as I can, like I said. Hopefully y'all enjoying them. And I'm gonna just keep pushing them out, man. I'll catch up with y'all next time. Thanks y'all for joining me. Alrighty. Y'all already know how this go, man. I'm out. I'm gonna holler at y'all. Peace.